welcome back. If you are new here, this channel is called Adventures of Drip Love. And today I was on the phone with Issa Dream. Now, if you don't know who Issa Dream is, Issa Dream is the best musical artist in Australia and is on Spotify, YouTube, all the other streaming platforms you can think of. But anyway, I was talking to him, I was on the phone, I was like, uh, I wanted to do a story time. And he was like, yo, you should tell the story of the first time I came to visit you when you were in Canberra. I moved to Canberra about, it was in 2020. Before I was in Canberra, I was in Dubbo, Dubbo, New South Wales. And when I was in Dubbo, I was hanging out with, uh, with Gerald or Issa Dream, whatever you want to call him as. Pretty much like any time I could, right? Basically, uh, he was going to stay over in Canberra for a few days. I can't remember how long he stayed. On our first day, the first day was pretty chill. We just hung out, you know, we hung out. But on the second day that he was here, we were invited to a picnic, right? Now, initially it was just me who was invited to this picnic. But I was like, oh, you know, Gerald's here, so I might as well go with him, right? So we made this, uh, we had this whole plan. At the time, I didn't have my peas. Like, I have my peas now, uh, but back then I didn't, and neither did he. So, we had to take public transport. The picnic was, uh, was at a park, right? Our plan was to take the, our plan was to take the bus close to the park, drop off, and then walk the rest of the way. I was like, I'd been in Canberra, this was last year, so I'd been in Canberra for a few months. I was like, I know the way, trust me. Turns out I had no idea. We missed the bus, the first bus we could have taken. So not a good start, not off to a good start. Uh, Gerald's checking his Google Maps thing and he's like, all right, this is the actual right way. Trust me because obviously you don't, you don't know the directions. Before we get on the bus, right? So our house is like, it's a bit of a, we'll say just like 100 meters to the bus stop, right? But we were late. So as if it wasn't bad enough that we missed the first bus, we were almost late for the second one. So we got dressed quickly or whatever. And Gerald, Gerald, he puts on his, his pants, right? And we're running. And as we're running, he's like running like this, like holding his pants up, right? I'm like, bro, bro, what's up? Like, what's, what's the issue? And he's like, oh, these pants are too big for me. I'm like, why would you buy pants that are too... Anyway, anyway, we had no time to argue about this. So we're like, you know what? It's fine. It doesn't matter. We got on the bus. The plan now is that we're going to stop by the mall. And then once we stop by the mall, we'll get a new belt. As we're about to arrive at the mall, he's like, oh, you know, I really... I don't know whether it was me or him who really needed the bathroom. So we didn't actually stop at the mall. We ended up stopping at Macca's. For those of you who aren't from Australia and don't know what Macca's is, Macca's is McDonald's. So we stop there. Uh, we go we go in. We get out. We're like, all right, so now we've uh, the bus has left us. And we have to get to the mall. And we're not going to wait for the next one. So we walk. So we have to walk all this way. I think it was about... I'd say it was maybe a K or just under a K, I don't remember. We walk there, we get to the mall, we buy our thing, we buy the belt, and it's all sorted. But now we're at the mall, and we're like, we still have a picnic to get to, bro. So we're thinking, what are our different options? How can we get there? We check, okay, so we check the, uh, we check the directions, we check the actual place that we're going to, and we realize, the bus stop that I thought we were meant to stop at was actually close to the mall. So I thought, hey, it's going to be a short walk and that was our plan, we're going to walk. The bus stop that I, that we ended up stopping at was not the correct one. We were at the mall, which was three kilometers from the picnic. We were already late. We did not have our peas. And I'm pretty sure there wasn't a bus there. So, and we were broke, so taxi wasn't, taxi or Uber wasn't an option. So we went, all right, uh, our last option is to call, is to call the person who was holding it. And because she's, um, she was one of my friends. So we sit down somewhere at like a restaurant. Uh, we sit down somewhere and I'm calling her, whatever. I call her, she picks up, she's like, what's up? I'm like, can you please come and pick us up? Okay, so get this. She says, 
Oh, sorry, my car doesn't have fuel. How are you going to drive back? I, I sit down. I look over at Gerald. I'm like, <sighs> splendid. We call one of our other friends who is on the way there. And they say they can't pick us up. We call one of, one of my guy friends who is there to pick us up. We're like, okay, finally we have a lift coming, right? And yeah, so, so as, they, as they get there, right? They call us. I think they Snapchat call us because I don't have the guy's number for some reason. They call us and they're like, oh, oh meet us here, meet us here, whatever. I'm very, by now you know that I'm very bad with, with directions, right? I was like, oh, no, no, I know, I'm, I'm like to Gerald, oh, no, I know where we're going, we just go this way. But he's like, bro, I don't believe you anymore. Just follow me, I think I know where we're going. So we, uh, we walk around, whatever, whatever. We eventually meet with these two guys. Um, and, and the one guy, so he, dri he drives us there to, the, to this park with the picnic thing. We get there, we get to the picnic, uh, finally. And uh, as four, so it's as four guys, me, Gerald, and these two other guys. Um, we are immediately friends. That car trip was enough for us to like, you know, we are immediately like, this is us. We had this competition, right? So there was, uh, there was, one, there was one girl there, right? No, there, was, there were several, but there's this one specific one, right? And this competition was like, think of it like, like the Bachelorette. This is, this is just for fun, all right? So if you, if any of you already know this story and you know the people involved, there's nothing like that. It was just for fun. We had like several different categories or whatever. It was like uh, best style, best pickup line. It was, it was just a whole lot of dumb stuff. You know, we, we talked to other people within the group um, and whatnot. Yeah, overall, it was a chill picnic. It was good. So we all disperse. We're like, all right. I look over at Gerald. I'm like, all right, we are, I don't know how far away we are from home. So we're like, okay, we'll just head back to the mall. We'll get a lift uh, from one of my friends um, and get back to the mall. Um, and then from the mall, we'll catch a bus back. So yeah, we did that. He dropped us off. Whilst we were at the mall, we met up with one of my other friends. By then, our social battery was dead um, because of you know all the all the running around and you know everything. So yeah, that's the story. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go and do some work now, and then uh, it's a Sunday, so it's a pretty chill. It's a pretty chill day. Edit this, edit this video, drop it, and then I will catch you guys in the next vlog.